Simon and I have three children. So Lily is the eldest, she's now 10. And then we've got Jake, who's just turned eight. And then Aria, who is six. Lily is very bubbly and happy. Um, she's very kind, always thinking of other people. She's very active. She loves dancing and singing especially. She loves art. Yeah, she's just a very normal 10 year old, I think. So in September, 2020, Lily um, came to us with a small lump on her knee. Didn't think anything of it. Lily's very accident prone, um, always covered in bruises. So we presumed she just bumped it. It never occurred to us that it, it could be cancer. So then it's quite surreal kind of being told your child has cancer. I think for us, it was harder because there was no definitive answer about the cancer. You hear of other people are having, you know, their child being diagnosed with cancer, but you never expect it's gonna be somebody that you know, or, or you, or one of your children. So when she had that um, cancer diagnosis, she burst into tears and she cried because she knew it meant she would lose her hair from the treatment. Um, by the time we got home, so like half an hour later, she was deciding what colour wig she wanted and also what um, fundraising she could do. One thing she'd been wanting to do for ages was have a bake sale. So we had a bake sale. Um, which raised over £1,500, that was on our drive. Um, and then we had people offering to do marathons or just choosing to do events and, and raise money for Lily's charities. Um, it just, it was amazing, the support that people offered us. It, you know, it, it definitely, we felt something positive had to come out of this whole situation. Um, it was so rubbish and everything that Lily was going through, but she was inspiring so many people. Um, and that just kept pushing us forward. The difference in Lily now is amazing to see. She's so much better than she was. She's so happy not to be going through treatment anymore. She's happy to be home. She's happy, happy to get some sense of normality back. But there's, there are so many children who aren't feeling better. They are still receiving treatment, or even those who aren't receiving treatment, but the long-term effects of the cancer treatment is life-changing. Um, you, Any fundraising that anybody can do will help those children, whether it's receiving treatment, after treatment, years down the line, we, we don't know what their future holds. Um, so any, any fundraising that people can do makes such a huge difference.